In the last video, we went ahead and wrote our first ClojureScript application. In this video, we will learn about how to use REPL in VS Code. So before we go ahead and do that, let's first automate our script, our build script. So instead of writing Shadow CLJS watch app every time on the terminal to restart our application, we can just do that with NPM scripts. So let's go to package.json and write our build script. We'll call it dev and the value will be npx shadow CLJS watch app. So once this is done, let's go back to the terminal and restart our development server using the script. Uh, now, if we restart the browser, we should see hello from CLJS. This means that everything works. So before we go ahead and start this tutorial, let's go ahead and install Calva. In my machine, it is already installed, so I don't have to do that. Once we are done with this step, we can go ahead and set up our REPL configuration in VS Code. So when you start a build configuration with Shadow CLJS Watch script, it will start a, a REPL server. And in our case, it started on port 8450. So all we need to do is we need to connect to that REPL server. So the first step in connecting to our REPL is to type control option C twice. And this will open a prompt asking us to select the project type. We will go ahead and select Shadow CLJS. Once we have done that, it will ask us to add the port number to NREPL, which we want to connect it. Since we have already specified this in uh, Shadow CLGS config, uh, I believe we set the port number to 8450, so this should auto-populate by itself. And the last step is to select which build we want to connect to. So since we have uh, we have a build ID of app, we want to select that one because we want to connect to our current build. So now you are connected to the REPL. Now we can go ahead and test our REPL connection. So let's write our first example test. And let's write JS alert. And alert method accepts a single argument. And in this case, we will say connect it to REPL. Now we will not save this. Uh, we will try to execute from the IDE itself, from our text editor. So to execute this piece of code, first we need to type control option C followed by space. Make sure that you are inside the, the body of this, this call. So type control option C and followed by space. And if you have done this correctly, you should see this dialog opened on your text browser. We have not saved this file. So this is not running because of hot code reloading. This is purely because of REPL driven development. So awesome. Our example works. Let's try writing a different example. Uh, we will add some few numbers and uh, using the native plus function. And as you just saw, the, the function was immediately executed and we saw the value eight. So as you can see, REPL works and it allowed us to um run small snippets of code from our text editor uh, in the next video we will go ahead and write our reagent application in this video we use the npm scripts tool to configure and automate our build process we also learned about calva we went ahead and installed calva in our machine in our vs code actually and then we learn how to connect it to our running REPL. And we do that by pressing Control Option C and selecting Shadow CLJS as the project type, and then adding the port number as well as uh, selecting the build ID. Uh, once we have done that, we also learned how to execute expressions from within the IDE. Um, I hope this video was useful for you guys. I will see you in the next lesson.